Hello viewers, we'll be going over gold miners, ETF ticker symbol GDX. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for GDX. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're up 1.7% on the one-hour chart. We have now, we still remain on positive MAC MACD, and we are nearing overbought RSI. If we extend that further onto the 4-hour chart, we are also nearing overbought RSI and we start to see a, another convergence on the 4-hour MACD. As for the daily chart, we have now we are making higher highs and there's a lot of upward momentum. And one thing to note, sometime around say June 20th or 22nd, we did reach to negative MACD and then we quickly reverse to positive MACD which is a fresh momentum to the upside so overall gold miners is looking pretty healthy to the upside for now we'll be marking to the downside if it does lose momentum and I, I do see a next possible support level being around a price of say $35 and 40 cents that day all the way back to say June 1st we found resistance there as well as June 23rd so if we do manage to fall down lower to hit support that price movement to the downside is roughly around 5.5 percent so now let's head back to the day-by-day -day probability model and these models are now available in the link below so do check it out so as we progress to the fourth, seventh day we have a 25% chance for GDX to climb between 0 to 4% and to downside we have a 25% chance for GDX to fall between 0 to negative 4% and further extreme case to the downside we have a 50% chance for GDX to fall between negative 4% to negative 9% so now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for GDX so we have one day out that will be a Wednesday and two days out will be a Thursday and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend, the blue lines are current trend and overlapping it happens to be the best match. So right here we have our current trend and the trend below is the one that we found on the line graph above. And this trend dates back to March 24th to June 18, 2010. So let's begin comparing both of the trends. So on the current trend, we average above the middle Bollinger band, and then we proceeded to reverse to touch the bottom band, and then towards the very end, we touch the upper Bollinger band. And now in the trend in question, we average above the middle Bollinger band, and then we reverse to touch the bottom band, and towards the very end, we touch the upper Bollinger band. So what we have here is one, two, three points. And above, we also have one, two, three points on the current trend. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same. The outcome and the forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was March 24th, 2010 to June 18th, 2010. Back then, GDX was down roughly around, say, 4%. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation of 25% chance between 0 to 4%. And let's examine closer on the technical performance. So on the current trend that we're in, we're down 1% from monthly high, up 21% from monthly low, up 3% from 10 simple moving average, up 7% from 20-day simple moving average, and also up 7% from 50-day simple moving average. So now, Let's examine the trend that we just found. Back then, it was up 0% from monthly high, up 21% from monthly low, up 5% from 10 simple moving average, up 7% from 20-day simple moving average, and also up 8.8% from 50-day simple moving average. So there are technical similarities among the two trends. And these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.